Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tattoo Talk Tuesday, the show where every Tuesday, I get a tattoo. I'm just kidding. Hey everyone, hello, and welcome back to Tattoo Talk Tuesday. So, if it is your very first time joining us, Tattoo Talk Tuesday is our weekly interactive talk show where I take viewers submitted questions and try to lend my experience to you guys as a tattoo collector. Anyway, I thought this week we could talk all about my hand tattoos. I posted a picture of my hand tattoos on Instagram and they got some feedback on them so I thought I would kind of just like go through and talk about some of the questions I got and kind of just like the history of my hand tattoos now that they are a couple years old. I think that hand tattoos, one, they can be difficult to get because a lot of tattoo artists want you to have tattoos or have experience with tattoos or have a job in tattooing or have a job where you're allowed to be tattooed. So receiving hand tattoos, I'll admit, is a lot easier now than it was 10 years ago. I feel like if you really, 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 really want one, you'll get one. There is a lot of like navigating through which tattoo artists will do it for you. And I was relatively tattooed at that point. And the tattoo artists who tattooed my hands in both occasions were friends. So I think that's why maybe it was easier for me to get tattooed on my hands. My advice if you are watching this video interested in getting hand tattoos is it's definitely like life-changing I suppose like if your face makes your first impression I feel like your hands make a lasting impression because you can't really normally cover them unless you wear gloves a lot for me in Pennsylvania half of the year it would be pretty weird to wear gloves so I feel like even if you feel like getting a tattoo on your palms won't be super obvious it will be and it always will be it's just the other side of your hand. So I would say if you're getting palm tattoos, finger tattoos, any sort of tattoo like that, definitely consider that it's a very active extension of you that almost never gets covered. Similarly to this, I feel like a tattoo like behind your ear, a lot of people get that because they feel like it's a little chiller, but then again, like if your hair is up, it's right there. I feel like hand tattoos kind of get categorized in this. With all of this feedback though, I'm not regretful of my hand tattoos, but they definitely don't go unnoticed. I mean, I guess they do. I'm kind of lucky in that my hand tattoos are relatively small and faded, but I kind of like that. So if you are interested in getting like an in-between the finger tattoo, a side of the palm tattoo, I think all of um, a actual palm tattoo or a tattoo on the back of your hand, just know that all of these things are generally pretty visible to everyone. Like I said, your hand, your hands are everything. They're an extension of you. So if you're meeting somebody for the first time, if you're opening the door for them, if you're shaking someone's hand, your hands are out. Your hands are in charge. So I think I treated my hand tattoos a little bit like my inner lip tattoo. I was kind of like, oh, I'll get it and it'll fade or whatever and that'll be cool. And you guys know my inner lip tattoo literally never faded. It is still there, 100%. So my finger tattoos I got when I was 21 and 22. And now I'm 28. You know, they are like seven years old, is that math? And I have three sixes on my fingers. And I also have this symbol on my other hand. So together they look like this and sorry, my fingernails are stained pink from my hair. Do you like it? So, With the sixes, you can tell that they really don't look like sixes anymore. I had these touched up, I want to say three times total. And you can tell in this middle one, it's pretty blown out in the lines. And then this last one, which is my like ring finger, is the most intact. 
I would say that one looks the most like a 6, this one looks the least like a 6, and this one has a blowout. So you can see that these are directly on the like pads of my fingers. And I healed these tattoos by wearing band-aids so that they wouldn't be like brushed up against a bunch of stuff and I wore a glove in the shower so I could like wash my hair and it wasn't like my fingertips. I haven't met anyone who said that that wasn't a good idea and I don't come across a ton of people who have their fingertips tattooed. I don't think I came up with anything like ingenious when I got these tattoos, but they weren't inspired by anything I had ever seen before. They were inspired by an event. Uh, and you may have seen that video. It's like my viral video. I got those tattoos back in 2001 and yeah, I had them touched up like once a month for the first like six months I had them. So I don't regret these tattoos at all. I still think that they're pretty cool. I think they don't really look like anything anymore. And I don't think I would ever get them touched up. I kind of just like, like what they are. I wouldn't want to draw any more attention to them than they already get. And be it that attention is really minimal. I think one time in beauty school, a teacher talked to me about it, but you know, she was religious, so I feel like she has every right to like ask me what the fuck is going on. And I was just like, it's not like a devil thing. And she was like, all right. <laughs> Other than that, I feel like they don't really come up a lot. If I'm like taking a picture on Instagram holding something, I feel like when they're spread apart, they don't even like make sense. So that is what fingertips, fingertip tattoos look like seven years later. And that's it. So for my other hand, which is my dominant hand, I, oh yeah, and I think having this on my non-dominant hand at least helped the healing process, but like I said, I don't really know anyone else who has finger tattoos, like fingertip tattoos, so I've never been able to talk to them about it. I have a lot of friends with palm tattoos and that seems pretty difficult to heal and receive and stuff like that. I do think about getting my palms tattooed or getting more tattoos somewhere on my hand. I just have to really decide where I want it just because I feel like where my finger tattoos are placed now, uh, I've grown to really, really like. So I don't want to like disrupt how much I really like these. So on my other hand, I have this symbol and this symbol means lawlessness. I had this tattoo done in 2012, I believe. It was kind of like a whirlwind story time. I think like maybe my friend Alex Valencia was in town and we went to a coffee shop and there was like two boys at a table across who were really funny. And I think they decided to sit with us. And then I think we just spent like the next week with them. And one of them was a traveling tattoo artist and gave me this tattoo. Lawlessness is a reference to Joanna Newsom, and she has a song, I think the song is called Soft as Chalk, but in the song she says like, lawlessness, lawlessness, and I die for it, because you guys may know, Joanna can't really yodel anymore, but she gave us one little mm, in uh, Have One On Me, and I live for it, so it was kind of the peak of the year I got most of my Joanna Newsom tattoos and I just thought lawlessness was pretty cool. I think it is like a way, not that I conduct my life, but it's something, you know, I'm into. So I thought it would be really cool. So I have never had this touched up professionally. I think, you know, I have a stick and poke from Alex Valencia and she left when she was done, she like left all that equipment at my house, so I tried to touch it up myself. And I feel like you can almost see right here where I tried to touch it up myself, this like black dot and how it kind of like, ear. But this is what it looks up, up looks like up close, sorry I wasn't showing it. I think that this one had the best chance to heal since it's never really been touched up professionally. I think if I got this one touched up, it would really bang, I feel like it would look really good because this is a little, a lot less like high impact than these. 
And even these kind of like held up. So I think if I got this one touched up again, it would look really good. I've seen a lot of people get this part of their hands tattooed. I think it's pretty clever. I've seen people get like this knuckle and then this one tattooed. And I've seen them look relatively good. So I think if you were going to get your hands tattooed, your fingers tattooed, this is a pretty good spot. I love this tattoo. I love this tattoo so much. I love Joanna Newsom. I love like kind of thinking about those like late nights, like just doing whatever. And I think this tattoo is really, really cool. I think it's really special. So I really do love it. I think if anything, if I do get more of my hand tattoo tattooed, I would get this touched up versus not getting these touched up. I mean, I would love if this like really shine bright like a diamond, but I do think like if people were to ask me what it is, I do think that like, you know, certain symbols like this kind of can come off the wrong way, especially with the 666 on the other hand, it's not doing me any favors. So this is the way that this symbol is supposed to be. It's not like an upside down X that some people will ask me or assume that's what it is. Like it is supposed to be this way. I don't know if that makes it up an upside down tattoo if I were to like serve you. Held this way is correct. And then when I look at it down is correct. So I don't know the whole philosophy of the palm tattoo being upside down or right side up. I don't know how much I care about that, but my Playboy Bunny tattoo is the wrong way and I live. So these have been my hand tattoos. I think I paid like $100 for them, but like I said, friends did them for me. So this one, I think I paid like shop minimum cause it was a five second daddy. And then I've also had it touched up three times. I had the same tattoo artist touch it up and every time he was like, this is the dumbest tattoo I've ever done. And I was like, cool, do you like me? I think if you were going to get hand tattoos, it would be good if you didn't necessarily, like if you had time to not work with your hands. Like when I got my hands tattooed, I think I was just a student and just fucking off. So I think I had a ton of time to just heal them. Like if I were to get them a couple months ago, like with my hands in the water, I don't think it would be a good idea, especially like any sort of finger tattoos. I don't think you should be like touching other people while they heal. I think just as a courtesy and to a favor to yourself. I don't think that my tattoos necessarily faded because I was shampooing or like doing anything with my, anything with my hands, like typing. I think once they healed, they were in there and they were just going to fade because of the texture of the skin and like not necessarily the type of impact but just because they are receiving impact and also just because the pads of my fingers well I usually keep my nails long so I don't think the pads of my fingers are necessarily like my primary tool on my hand but Either way, I think that if you are going to get fingertip tattoos, they're never going to look perfect after a couple years. I used to love how they looked when they were fresh. I loved it so much. I think the only photographs I have of them are when they're fresh, but I do really, I really do love them. I love that they are weathered and in my finger, but I also, you also have to love that too. So I think a simple line design is a good way to go. I don't think that like a little anchor or mustache or anything like that will really hold the test of time as well as a symbol will because a symbol is always going to be identifiable. A letter, a, a doodad. I think if you get a small image, it's more likely to bleed and distort. Whereas this is distorted and bled but you can kind of tell that it's a six. Like not really, it kind of, woo. If I only had this, like what is that? But still, still kind of cool. I could probably get these turned into eights if my life goes down a different path. But for now, and maybe always, I really, really, really like them. So if you decide to get like tattoos in this area, I think that they will hold a lot better than the fingertip, obviously. I don't think they hurt, I think, they were so quick that I, they didn't have the opportunity to hurt. 
I've heard from everyone that palm tattoos hurt, but these were five minutes in the chair. So five minutes of feeling uncomfortable. In my mind, I feel like they're kind of tucked away and I feel security in that, but I also do really love them. And I also have a lot of tattoos and be it, I got these pretty early on, very irresponsibly on, like my arm was not being done tattooed in 2011, but I don't know. I always knew I was gonna grow up and be a piece of shit, but if you, if you prospects have some consideration, Anyway, I love you guys so, 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 so much. If you have fingertip tattoos, please drop a line in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can leave your questions in the comments below. Definitely subscribe. I love you and I'd love to have you. And you can follow me on Instagram at quietcoolkid. Anyway, until next time, bye.